Hi, I am Dr. Lovesh Rao Burthi, Professor Tribli Department. Today I am going to explain power equation for wind turbine. Normally, wind contains kinetic energy. That kinetic energy uh, Ke simply is equal to, you know that, that is half m v squared. We have to discuss about power equation. E power is nothing but uh, energy per unit time. So, we can convert it in the power that Ke by unit time that equal to I can write it like this of m by t v squared in joules actually it is joules it is the watts. So, here m by t is called as uh, air mass per unit time air mass per unit time it is decided air mass per unit time. For example, uh, we can take the particular area, it is a particular area, it has some area. In that area, some certain wind uh, is passing through uh, certain velocity uh, v and it has some density that is called as air density. It is denoted to uh, kg per meter cube and uh, a is nothing but uh, uh, the meter square and velocity the meter per uh, second. So, here the air mass per unit time that equal to m by t that equal to we can write it like this rho area of the a particular uh, place and velocity of the uh, particular component. So, this is called as we can write it the terms R rho is nothing but k g per meter cube and area is nothing but units are meter square and v is the meter per second. So, this meter cube and this one is cancelled finally, you are getting k g per second. So, unit mass air mass per unit time is nothing but k g time that is equal to rho a v. Uh, we are called it as uh, this is the equation 1, this is the equation 2, this is the equation 2. Uh, 2 is substitute in 1 that equal to k e by t is nothing but I told already energy for time is nothing but power, this is the wind power. So, that is we simply can denote this one wind power is equal to of we can replace m by t is equal to rho a v to v square that equal to of rho a v cube watts. So, this is the general equation for the wind. Now, I am going to explain I am going to explain uh, this is uh, up, this uh, concept is applied to the wind turbine. This concept is applied for the wind turbine. When in turbine, for example, we take it this one. Uh, we have certain blades like this. So this is the one of the turbine. In the turbine, the air is flowing like the, like this. So like this. Here, uh, from the infinite, we are getting some of the uh, wind is coming from certain velocity that is called as some V1. Similarly, after uh, hitting the turbine, uh, maybe the blades, the after the velocity is V2. For example, you have to call it as this one. At that time, the wind turbine output, the P out, we are call it as simply told already of air mass density and uh, V 1 square minus of air mass density that is simply the same and uh, V 2 square. We have to simplify this 
your common points of m by t v1 minus v1 square minus v2 square. So, we are getting the this is the equation in the previously we have to see this one the it is called as equation 3 we are called it as this is the equation 3. Now, this one is called as equation 4, but the wind turbine uh, we can uh, identify this one m by t air mass for unit time we can write it as. So, their air density into area of the of the wind and we are taking the velocity two velocities are there. So, that is why we are taking the average v 1 plus v 2 by 2. So, this is the equation 5. Now, the 5 is substitute in equation 4 the output power equal to we are getting right it now this is the 5 is substitute in equation 4 the p out is equal to rho a and uh, sorry uh, I think uh, rho a uh, half into m by t replace this one rho a and v 1 plus v 2 by 2 into v 1 square minus v 2 square. We can simplify this. Now, the output power of rho a multiplied. So, uh, we can write the 2 into 2 may be it is the called 4 and uh, we can multiply it v 1 cube first term v 1 into minus v 1 v 2 square plus v t into v 1 square minus v 2 cube. So, here uh, for simplification we have to take the v 1 3 is common 1 by 4 rho a v 1 cube that equal to once we remove this uh, v 1 cube this is called as 1 minus v 1 by v 2 square by v 1 cube plus v 2 by v 1 square by v 1 cube minus v 2 cube by or simply v 2 by v 1 whole cube this is the value. I simply got it this v 1 is cancelled here now it is become squared and uh, this is v 1 square is cancelled here simply it is called as v 1. Now, final power output p out is equal to 1 by 4 and uh, rho a v 1 cube v 1 is the actual wind velocity simply it is called as a wind power we can write it in terms of wind power that is called as p by 2 uh, wind power by 2 why because of rho a v 1 cube is nothing but the wind power we already discussed in the last slide and now it is called 1 minus v 2 square by v 1 square v 2 by v 1 square plus it is called as v t by v 1 velocity uh, uh, before and after and minus v 2 by v 1 cube this is the equation. This is the output power of the wind turbine. Now, actually at what velocity or maybe it is getting the maximum power. So, maximum condition power, uh, power we are simply call it as I rewrite this what is the equation overall uh, wind power 1 minus x square plus x plus minus x cube ok uh, write it. Now, p out is equal to p w by 2 into 1 minus x square plus x minus x cube. I can simplify this here uh, actually x is equal to v 2 by v 1 
before velocity after velocity and before velocity. So, this is depends upon the maximum power the velocity. So, that is why it is simplified by uh, our differentiate and equal to 0 uh, differentiate with x and equal to 0 we are getting the maximum power condition maximum power condition. So, maximum power occurred maximum power occurred when d p out is differentiate with d x and equal to 0 and equal to 0. Now, simplify we have to substitute this for p out is equal to we have to value may be this is the uh, what is the equation number we are giving 1 to 5 and this is called some 6 equation 6. This is equation 6 may be what you read is uh, and this is the 7. So, substitute this one we are getting uh, d by d x of and p win by 2 1 minus x square plus x minus x cube is equal to 0. So, it is the constant uh, and we can uh, re-simplified it is write as like 1 minus x square plus x minus x cube equal to 0. So, differentiate this and uh, this is called d 1 by d x is equal to 0 minus 2 x plus 1 minus 3 x square equal to 0. So, now we can write it like this 3 x square plus 2 x minus 1 equal to 0. It is a characteristic equation general characteristic equation. We can find out the roots of this equation. This is the equation maybe it is called as some 8. How, how to find that uh, roots of this equation here x is equal to we know this formula minus b plus r minus root b square minus 4 a c by 2 a. So, we substitute and find the values, we substitute and find the values uh, from this equation what is the ma b here my 2 here the b is equal to 2. So, minus 2 plus r minus root 2 square minus 4 what is the value 3. So, into 3 into what is the c value minus 1. So, minus 1 by 2 into 3. So, this is the values we are getting this uh, what is the value minus 2 plus r minus we are getting this value to 4 12 plus 4 16 uh, maybe by 6. So, that becomes minus 2 plus 4 by 6 comma and minus 2 minus 4 by 6 that implies that equal to 2 by 6 and uh, that is the minus 6 by 6 that is equal. So, finally, we are getting two roots one is the 1 and uh, minus 1 minus 1. So, it is the negative value the x value generally we are taking the positive. So, we can substitute 1 by 3 in this equation. 1 by 3 in this equation general power output equation we are getting the maximum power maximum power. So, p max uh, now the p max are is equal to we substitute the value p win by 2 into 1 minus what is the value 1 minus actually x square plus x minus x cube that equal to p w by 2. So, what is the value 1? 1 by 3 whole square plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 whole cube. So, simplify this p w by 2 is equal to uh, we have to root this uh, I think you can write one second another step may be 1 by 9 plus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 cube 27 that is the values p by uh, wind speed uh, wind power we can rewrite is like this 27 is the normal value. So, we are getting 27 minus 3 times 
plus uh, 3 is the 9 times and minus 1. So, it is getting this uh, p win by 2 into 32 by 27. So, this is the maximum value of uh, maximum power we are getting for wind turbine 32 by 2 is nothing but so 16 by 27 p wind. This is the maximum power getting from the wind turbine. So, normally uh, this is the theoretical value may be it is equal to 0 0.593 p wind watts. But practical this is the range from 0.4 pw to 0.5 pw. So, this is the final it is the theory and uh, and this is called as a practical. So, I concluded that so today uh, I am explaining the power equation for the wind turbine and maximum power how it is getting the theoretical values 0.5. 593 pw at the practical range of this one is 0 0.4 pw to 0 0.5 pw. Thank you.